500 miles. 500 miles from the Mason-Dixon line to Canada. An unimaginable distance. Slave catchers are monitoring all northbound travel. God help the man without free papers. How are we going to get our passengers from the southern farms and plantations all the way to the border of Canada? We can't keep trying to outrun them. We have to fight. The only way to make the fugitive slave law a dead letter is to make half a dozen or more dead slave catchers. That will cool their ardor. You may be right. Civil war might be our only hope. We can't just give up and wait for war. We need to get back to work bringing slaves to freedom. By train or carriage, horseback, on foot if necessary. Harriet, the journey from Maryland to Canada is 600 miles from the Canadian border. Your longest trip was 100. Now, that would take months, not weeks. You can't. I ain't giving up rescuing slaves because it's far. Many of you don't know slavery firsthand. You were born free. You've been free so long, you forget what it's like. You've gotten comfortable and important. You got beautiful homes, beautiful wives. But I remember. Children beat for not working before they understand what work is. Girls raped for their first blood. Brothers whipped to their back and ripping sisters. Sold from their babies. Try not to think of what they went through. Those still enslaved are going through right now. But I've heard their groans and their sighs. I've seen their tears. And I would give every last drop of blood in my veins to free them. So I ain't giving up. Do what I gotta do. Go wherever I gotta go. However, I gotta do it. To free as many slaves as possible. To this beast, this monster called slavery is slain dead. Amen. 